Hi, today I prepared two multiply choice questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, uh, read the questions, answers, uh, choose your correct answer and then you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. I recommend you to do it even if you don't know the correct answer because I believe that most of you would be able to choose the correct answer just using common sense and logic and uh, all your prior knowledge and experience. So here's the first question. Even though sickle cell anemia is usually fatal to the homozygous individuals, the disease persists because uh, answer A, gene therapy has alleviated the condition. B, the disease is carried on the dominant allele. Answer C, Individuals with one allele for the sickle cell anemia are resistant to malaria. Uh, D, a combination of uh, all the above, and E, none of the above. And uh, I can tell you that this is not the answer E, there is correct answer, but this is also not the answer D, this is not a combination uh, of the above answers. And... Um, Answer A. Gene therapy has uh, alleviated the condition. This is also not a correct answer. We still cannot um, uh, use uh, gene therapy uh, for humans. This is only uh, on the uh, experimental stage when uh, such therapy applied on the animals models so we have to exclude this answer answer b the disease is carried on the dominant allele this is also incorrect answer because this disease caused by the recessive allele and uh, we need homozygous recessive uh, genotype in order uh, for this uh, genetic disorder and disease to be expressed and we left with answer C. Individuals with one allele for sickle cell anemia are resistant to malaria. And this is correct answer. So this is our choice. Next uh, question. Sickle cell uh, trait in humans is classic example of answer A. How mutations can uh, lead only to tragic uh, outcomes. B. Why outbreeding is important. C the superior uh, fitness scene in the heterozygotes and d how every organism is an integrate uh, integrated gene complex answer a how mutations can lead only to tragic outcomes this is not uh, the correct answer because in uh, this example uh, we see that uh, uh, mutation leads to superior genotype, that is uh, uh, heterozygote geno genotype. Uh, so people who have uh, this genotype would be resistant to malaria. And answer B, why outbreeding is important. And a sickle cell trait uh, doesn't uh, give us uh, any idea why I outbreeding is important because uh, this uh, genetic disorder or a heterozygous state that protect from the malaria is not due to inbreeding but due to um, different uh, fitness of different genotypes. So we have to exclude this answer also. So we have to cross out this answer and we left with answer C and D, the superior fitness seen in heterozygotes, and this is true. So when we have a genotype that is capital S and small s, so a small s here stands for the recessive allele that cause a, a genetic disorder and this a disease. So when we have a homozygous uh, recessive genotype, uh, such uh, people uh, would be uh, affected 
with very severe uh, sickle cell anemia and uh, genotype that is heterozygous here uh, would be superior uh, but only in the central Africa of course where uh, malaria is present and this is deadly disease and an, another genotype normal genotype that is capital S capital S or homozygous dominant uh, wouldn't protect uh, uh, this person who has uh, such genotype from the sickle cell um, uh, from the malaria I'm sorry but uh, this genotype would be superior for example in any other uh, regions except uh, central uh, Africa where uh, malaria are present so um, our choice is C and the last uh, answer how every organism is an integrated gene complex it's also incorrect answer so we have to cross out this answer this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye